Hey everybody. My thought with all these new uh, subscribers that I would kind of give a little background and do a video post. Um, I know I've already talked about it a lot and I know it's already getting boring. Um, but I want to give a little, like one post about it all uh, since I got so many new viewers and whatnot. Um, okay, first of all, um, I'm going to talk about all the issues that I have and um, and what is wrong with my laptop and why I can't view all your videos as much as I want to because I totally do and it really sucks just one moment if you will please okay first of all I was diagnosed with bipolar when I was about 20 and uh, then they decided well, actually, they couldn't figure out quite what was wrong with me. What they knew for sure was that I had uh, severe PTSD and uh, major depression since I was about 12. The the major depression, not the PTSD. They weren't sure when that developed. Uh, I've been through a lot. Um, I've lived in a lot of pl different places. Uh, I kind of consider Quincy, Illinois and Houston, Texas to be my hometowns. Is this kind of, I went to high school in Quincy, Illinois, and then I grew up as a small child in um, Houston, Texas, in, in like the real ghetto there. Um, I think I have like three, I have one biological father who I've, I don't really connect with, as you guys have seen a little bit of. I have a stepfather who, that's really jacked up. Um... I told a lot of my friends that he committed suicide, but he really didn't. It's kind of a long story. Uh, I'm just now getting back in contact with him. Uh, it was like he died. It was like he committed suicide. It felt that way, so I told a lot of people that that's what happened. Um, and then I have another stepdad named Dave, who's married to my mom currently, who's wonderful in many ways. Um... And I consider him my dad, because he's been more of a dad than any any of the other ones have. Um, but my stepdad, he was married to my mom since I was four, and then he left when I was twenty, when I was nineteen. So uh, there's a lot of memories there. Um, uh, I was addicted to crystal meth when when I was. 19 until I was 21, two weeks before I met Sasha, actually. I was engaged to a man, and he was like the best man, and I said, if I, if I can't make it with this guy, I can't make it with any guy anymore. I just can't do this anymore, and because I kept trying to make it with men, and I couldn't do it anymore, and he was like, he was sweet and awesome, and... If I couldn't make it with the perfect man for me, then I couldn't make it with a man. Uh, we split up right before Christmas. I think I'm going to have to cut this and then start later because it sounds like Sasha's home. Just a minute. Okay, yeah, that was, she was getting home. Um, I'm not quite sure where I was. Okay. I'll try to start where I was. Um... So, that guy and I, um, we broke up on, um, Christmas Eve of 2000, Pedro, not right now, of 2002, and I moved back in because I couldn't afford to, the place I was living at, because I was meth head, and, um, the reason we broke up was because I wanted to finish schooling and um, not do drugs anymore. And he wanted to do drugs and he didn't want to settle down. And I was tired of it. I didn't want to do it anymore. I was tired of the way I was feeling. I was sick all the time. Uh, I had no money for anything. I had lost my job. It was awful. So, just a minute here. Pedro! Sorry about that. Um, so, two weeks later, after moving in with my parents, I met Sasha, and 
Uh, the rest is history, really. Um, we moved in together like a month after that, and I haven't touched meth since, and I never wanted to either. Um, I did. I did smoke a little bit of marijuana, but we won't get into any of that discussion right now, because that's. We won't get into that. But, um, I have been diagnosed with, uh, antisocial. Now, that, that's one of my biggest things in the PTSD. That's, that's one of my biggest things right there. Uh, I get, when I go out to eat and stuff like that, I get very, very anxious. And, um, I just don't, um, I just always feel like everybody's looking at me. And my mom always says, well, think about it. It makes you feel, if you think about it, really you're being conceited to think that everyone's looking at you. Well, I guess that's true, Mom. <laughs> if everybody's looking at you, and you think everybody cares about you, I don't know, but a lot of the time I'll think of that saying, and uh, I'll be like, well, they're not all looking at me, but... When you go to like all uh, like the all you can eat buffets and stuff, whew, those are the worst for me. I don't like to go to those because you know fat ass eating there and all that. Um, I moved here to Virginia from Kansas um two years ago in August and no in October of last year, and um I moved here because. My younger sister, she is adopted. We adopted her when she was born. Uh, her name is Emmy. She has fetal alcohol syndrome. Just a minute. <laughs> 